Hello guys. So um, we were able to pull the bus inside for the weekend. And so now it is time to put our solar panel roof racks on top of Miss Mary. So that is what we're gearing up to do today. So follow us along. So here's what she looks like all naked without her roof racks. Just a nice clean slate for us to work with. So here is um, the roof racks that we had built a while back. They are... What's up, YouTube? It's roof rack day. We're putting on the roof racks. Yeah. Those, <laughs> those are all going to go up top up there. And he's got one started. We've got the first one not, not bolted in, but figured out and in place. So we're inside the bus and we're gonna pretty much try to take everything up through the hatch. But I was gonna show you. The first one is pretty much in place where it's gonna go. The key thing here is we wanted to get those installed before we did our spray foam insulation because we are going to be bolting them through the ceiling and we wanted to get that all in before we spray foamed. All right, so, so we're not gonna go through the ribs. I don't wanna drill a half inch hole through the ribs. Uh, really the, it's not a controversy, but the thoughts on it is you weaken the rib when you go right through it. So I've got a huge foot out here and with this half inch bolt and I'm gonna use big fender washers um, I think it'll be plenty strong. If we ever have to maintain it or do something, we can just dig the foam away and take the bolts back loose. But that's what we're doing. We're out here in the open. There's the, the, rib, the rib rail that's on the roof and the rib is over here. And we're close to them, but not far from them. So we got the strength of that and I think it's gonna work really good for us. Not telling you how to do yours. It's how we're choosing to do ours. So we're going to put Sika Flex underneath it and bolt them down and we're going to bolt them down with half inch bolts with double fender washers and uh, nylock nuts. Yeah, here's our hardware down here on the table. Let's and do it. We're using Sika Flex 221. That stuff has been amazing, huh? Yeah, it seems to work uh, really well on painted metal. So um, we are working on the third one. It's coming together. So here's the one that's all. Anyways, we got flex down. Put them on and dry fit them and make sure the bolts go through. We've got Randy up here in his sock feet so he doesn't scratch up the roof. We learned that the hard way before. I might just put a bead around there. You got a really good angle on these too on that flat plate. Yeah, that yeah. jig worked great for that. That jig worked really good for that, huh? And here's this side. So yeah, you can see how it just follows the profile of the roof. So he's got the Sika Flex on both sides. No, the nuts in. The bolts. Oh, excuse me, the bolts. And then dropping them down into the holes. Hopefully, without getting goop all over and to mess up here. There we go. Woo! All right, go put the nuts on, baby. And then I crawl down inside and put the washers and the nuts on, right? Yep. Okay, it's coming along. And I have coffee because she's slow. So, <laughs> I'm better with coffee, anyhow. That's right, you do operate. We saw, we saw that in the last couple of videos, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can see it. I'm ready. Poke it through. Okay. Okay, we're on the driver's side. Thank you. 
you go, people. We have eight of them up on this side of the hatch, all the way back to the second roof transition. Randy got it done. It was quite a job. Not a job. It's just a lot of crawling around on your hands and knees. It looks so beautiful. So we got two more that we want to stick on right behind the hatch, behind where I'm at. So we'll get those up and see if we can get you a shot. And the other two went in front of the hatch here for the solar panels to come up to the front right here. Hey, here's an update guys. This morning Randy got up and um, with some help got the two side rails down each side. And then we just put our scaffold deck up here temporarily so we could walk around on it. They go clear to the end down there and clear up here to the front around the back of the hatch. So we have room to put a solar panel off the side. So we have a roof rack on top of our bus. How sweet is that? So we just want to thank you guys for following us along on this journey and know that we really really appreciate your support and love each and every one of you guys and hope you have a wonderful day bye